Hello, my name is Tim Eit, and I'm the product manager for indexable milling at Seco Tools. I'm here to introduce to you two new high feed milling systems. We're super excited about these new high feed additions as they complement our high feed range that exists today. Let's take a look at both of them. Seco's new high feed 205 is the world's smallest indexable high feed mill on the market today, with diameters ranging from three quarters of an inch down a half inch. This new technology incorporates a positive rectangular insert, which allows for increased core diameter of the tool. A reinforced core makes the tool much more stable in the cut. The LP05 insert is single-sided and is ideal in sticky materials such as stainless steel and high temp alloys, but is also useful in carbon and die steels as well. The cross section of the insert is wide in comparison to a trigon shaped insert. The increased cross section makes the insert stronger. The new LP05 insert is offered in three different geometries and seven grades with either a PVD or CVD coating. As mentioned, the insert shape is rectangular, allowing for wider cross section and stronger core at the tool body. This combination makes the insert more reliable and the tool more stable. Also, the rectangular insert allows for more teeth per diameter than a trigon shape, which boosts feed rates. The LP05 insert comes in three different geometries. The M05 geometry would be the basic choice and the go-to insert for steel applications. The ME4 is more suitable to stainless steels and high temp alloys, while the MD05 is ideal in cast iron and hardened steel applications. The High Feed 205 complements the existing High Feed 206 that was introduced by Seco Tools a few years ago. The smaller LP05 insert offers more teeth per diameter on the 5 8 and 3 quarter despite having a lower depth of cut range. This is ideal in certain applications requiring more stability, making the new system smoother cutting and more stable because there are more inserts engaged in the cut. Oftentimes, in long overhangs, it is necessary to reduce the depth of cut to avoid harmonic vibration. The LP05 offers an advantage to reduce vibration. The lighter depth combined with the added number of teeth help to maintain stability without sacrificing productivity. Ramping, helical interpolation, and plunge milling are all techniques which can be performed using the new High Feed 205 system. This makes this new high feed addition versatile and capable of improving many manufacturing processes. And there you have it, high feed 2 with the LP05 insert, the world's smallest indexable high feed milling on the market today. All cutter bodies and inserts are in stock and ready to go. Now let's take a look at the other system, the high feed 4. The high feed 4 is a completely new product for Seco Tools and we are excited to show this to you. We now begin to introduce a high feed solution with multiple cutting edges. The offering is quite large with diameters ranging from one inch up to two and a half inches. This new technology incorporates a negative rectangular insert which allows for increased core diameter of the tool. Like the LP05 and LP06, a reinforced core makes the tool much more stable in the cut, but with the high feed 4, we get four cutting edges. A full range of diameters and flute variations to handle most applications are available. High Feed 4 is offered in three mounting types, cylindrical shank, Kami Master, or Arbor Shell Mount. The L006 insert is double-sided and is ideal in steels, cast irons, and hardened materials. The cross-section of the insert is wide in comparison to a trigon-shaped insert and larger than the LP06 single-sided insert. The increased cross section makes the insert stronger. The new L006 insert is offered in four different geometries and 10 grades with either a PVD or CVD coating. The M06 is a good choice for stainless steels and high temp alloys. The M07 is the preferred choice for steel. The D07 is ideal in hardened steels and the MD07 is the go-to in difficult steel applications. There's definitely a geometry and a grade combination to fit your application needs. Ramping, helical interpolation, and plunge milling are all techniques which can be performed using the new High Feed 406 system. Seco's new High Feed 4 with LO06 insert 
It's a fantastic multi-edge solution and sure to improve your manufacturing processes. All inserts and cutters are in stock and ready to go. In comparing the High Feed 206 with the High Feed 406 in regards to positioning, the High Feed 406 is a more economical solution from a cost per edge point of view. However, there are still advantages to the High Feed 206 that make this cutter a first choice in some applications. High Feed 206 is better suited to stainless steel and high temp alloys. It offers more ramping and plunging capability. The High Feed 406, on the other hand, is a preferred choice in hardened steels and, as mentioned, offers two more edges for an economical solution. If you have questions about these new products or questions about other products from Seco Tools, please contact your Seco Technical Specialist. If you have any questions regarding technical support or need further assistance, you can call our tech team. That wraps up our new High Feed Editions for Seco Tools. These new tools are sure to improve your bottom line and to help you with your manufacturing processes. Thanks for watching.